Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is safe. In today's video, I'll talk about agent utilization. First of all, we need to understand that. What is that? It means that for how much time agent was available to handle the calls to help the customers divided by the total paid hours. So the formula for utilization is that net login time divided by staff time minus ox time. So net login time includes your call work hold time, talk time, avail time. So these things shows that the agent was actually productive, like was helping the customers. And the staff time, it could be depending on the company login hours or the policy. It could be nine and a half hours. It could be eight and a half hours or some other hours, depending on the company. So now let's calculate how we can calculate the agent utilization. I have pre-filled all the information to save the time. Suppose I have taken the staff time is nine and a half hours. And then I have taken call work is one hour 20 minutes. So I'm just calculating all these things for one day. So that can be calculated for one week, one month and so on. And the whole time is 55 minutes. Talk time, five hour, 10 minutes. Avail time, one hour, 20 minutes. So now to, after that, we have to calculate the ox time because the ox time is not given. So how we can calculate the ox time? So to calculate the ox time, what we need to have, we need to know the staff time of the agent minus and the net login time of the agent which is your which includes your call work hold time top time avail time so by that way we can have the ox time so the ox time is 45 minutes we need to ensure that it should be equal to the staff time like staff time includes the complete timing of call work hold time top time avail time plus ox time so now if I want to check that it's coming up equal to the staff time, so we can check that. So now you can see that it's coming up nine and a half hours equal to the staff time, which is here. In case if the ox time is getting higher, so the staff time would be increased. Right, suppose if I just apply here, 55 minutes now you will see that the staff time has been increased to 9 hours 40 minutes the reason being that it happened because agents may have exceeded their break and the lunch i hope that is clear right now so now we will calculate the utilization with the formula now we have all the components call work hold time top and avail time and aux time so to calculate the utilization, we need to know the net login time and the net login time, which is our, this one, from call work to avail, I can close, divided by what is the staff time, what we have, the staff time is nine and a half hours minus your box time. So now you can see that agent utilization is 102 percent the reason being that it's showing more than 100 percent because the agent has exceeded break or lunch if i just suppose put it here at the same value like 0, 0 45 minutes so it will be changed to 100 percent so as a call center call center needs to keep a close eye on the agent utilization to ensure that agent utilization should not be getting lower if that's happening so it means that agents are not available to take calls and by that way the calls waiting would be there and it would have additional workload on the existing employees who are already locked in plus that can also have negative impact on the business if agents are not on the call when they are supposed to be so what will be happening the service level would be going down if the service level is going down every speed of answer would be going up so by that way what will be happening the customers have to wait on the line to get the call answered and that's not a very good sign for the call center because the call center purpose is to make sure that its customer calls should be answered as soon as possible without letting customer on phone if the customers have to wait on the line they might drop the call so that will lead to the abandoned calls so by that way, call center should try to achieve 80 to 85 percent of agent productivity or utilization to make sure that the customer calls can be answered as soon as possible, which will also help to meet the key metrics for the call center. 
I hope that is clear till now. In case if you have any kind of question, please let me know. So now let's move on with the example. How we can calculate like utilization with the example. So I have pre-filled all the information once again. I have just taken it down for one day. So the call work is 20 hours away time, four and a half hours, then talk time, four times, staff time, and the house time. Again, we have to apply the formula. We need to know that what is the net login time. So the net login time would be your sum, which will tell you all time divided by your staff time. I have to just put the bracket here staff time minus your box time bracket close so now you can see that the agent utilization time is 85 percent approx 85 percent so i can just simply drag down this formula or get the utilization for other days also now you can see that the agent utilization is 85 percent 82 percent which is six percent and 100 percent as I mentioned earlier that it is very important for the call center to keep a close eye on the utilization to make sure that the agent should be available to take calls when they are supposed to take calls. If they are not on the phone, so that might lead to missing out the key metric. I hope that is clear. I have tried to explain all these things in a very simple way. These things are very simple, but sometimes we completely get stuck and we do not have any idea how we can calculate all these things. So I hope these things will definitely help you to like calculate the age of the utilization. In case, if you have any kind of questions, please let me know. I'm not perfect, but I will try to answer that for you. So all these things would be like very helpful and would be very crucial when it comes to the WFM. So thank you so much for watching this video.